Hello and welcome back to another Sibelius 6 quick tip. Today I want to show you how to assign the text object positions to a house style. Well, the text objects are set in two different ways. You can set them in two different ways. Uh, one way is to attach them or to, uh, to the music staves and another way is to attach them to the page margins around it, this, this blue dotted line here. So what I always do when I work on music is I assign a certain distance from the title to the page margin, the subtitle I set also to the page margin and in case more in case I have more subtitles I don't assign them at all but I just leave them the way they are and I drag them with them out to the position I want to. Because sometimes the the font size of the title is so big that it, that it, it's always un very unpredictable um, where the size will be for example if I would um, set this on the programmed house style position the subtitle and I would have a bigger font size then right now it would be far too close so then creating a position for this doesn't make any sense to assign it in a house style. So what I do instead is I put this back for a moment to the style. I only assign this to the house style, I assign this to the house style and I assign this to the house style. My header after first page gets a certain position in a house style and the footer getting a certain position in a house style. So let's see how we do this. First let's start with the title. To assign a text object to the page margin, the easiest do thing to do is just select first the text object and then go to house style, edit text styles, and then here's the title. Then we go to edit and we choose vertical position. What the vertical position does is it, it, set the, it gives the distance from the title to the page margin on the top. Um, you can set this distance here, for example, let's right now it's zero and that's why it is against the page margin and also it's a snapped to the top margin. You can choose here, do you want to have it snapped with this distance to the top margin or to the bottom margin? Or I want the title on the top of my page, so I snap it to the top margin. But for example, let's set a distance of 10 millimeters instead and hit OK. And now you see it snaps down. So this is this would be part of my house style if I would export this as a house style, and I use it in another import it in an other score. My title will snap to this position, but I don't want it. This it's far too low. So we change it again to zero. And let's have a look at this menu for a moment. So the vertical position you can put, you can snap this vertical position to the top or to the bottom of the page. In this case the top, that's why I chose this. But if I choose this option, it will snap to the bottom of the page. It's gone suddenly. And where is it? I cannot show it. Wait, there it is, to the bottom of the page. But that's not really a nice way to have your title, so we put it back to the top margin. And um, the vertical position, so left or right, in this case I want to have it to center, so align to page and center it in the middle. I can put of course my text position left, let's see where it goes, so it snaps to the left side of the page margin, or I can put it horizontal position to the right center of the snap to margin, but I'm not so happy about this either, so we leave it in the center. So it's snap to margin and I leave it on so it snaps really nice to the page margin. And now it should go to the center, vertical position, high low, to the top, zero millimeters from the page margin. And there it is. Okay, that's one. Now let's set, see what else we can do. So as I said before, this is related to the page margin. Now, the composer name. I will show you that this is not set to the page margin and I, you can see that because when I drag this tab 
the compose name goes with it. Not the title because it is connected to this one. However, this one is connected to this one. And I like it like this because sometimes my music starts a little bit lower, a little bit higher on the page. And I really like to keep the distance to the composer name the same. So if I reset this to my position that I have set in my host style, and it is done here, if I reset it to the uh, position, it should go back. And there it is. So this distance is always the same the way I set it. So let's have a look how you set the distance from a text object to the staff. You go to house style and instead of going to edit text style, you go to default positions. The default positions in the default positions you can set all kind of um, distances, horizontal and vertical position to the staff, horizontal position related to the node. So now we have to do with everything that's inside the score itself. So in case of the composer name, let's go to Textiles, we can choose also lines and other objects, so we have a lot of choice here, but in this case, let's stay with the composer name. We go to Composer, and keep in mind that even if you select this name and you go into default position, the composer name is not automatically selected, so you really have to go there and click it. Now, the distance I made from the sta top staff to the name is set to 8.5 and I do this in the score and in parts that I would uh, extract from the score and keep it the same. So horizontal position relative to the node 8.5 horizontal. Um, although in this case uh, this can actually set to, n to zero because I have nothing to do with the distance. What I'm looking for is the vertical positions relative to staff. So this is the staff and this is the relative positions. How 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 high, how low. I put it on 8.5 and I, will, I want to have it above my staff, above top of the staff. So hit OK and let's see if there's any change now. Position, no, that's what I thought. So let's see again, what for example if I want to have it below the bottom of the staff with this vertical distance relative to the staff. It jumps under the staff. So let's go to another option. If I would set it above the middle of the staff, where would it go then with this distance? It jumps here. Let's see. So, so as you can see, you have some choice here. Vertical position below the middle of the staff. And it jumps here. So but of course what we really want is above the top of staff. So we set a vertical position here for score and for parts. And always be sure that you select the textile that you're working on and you hit OK and there it is. Let's check if it really is correct. Reset the position as set in the house style here and it stays on the, on the, on the place. So this is correct. Now let's go to check another textile in this case. The header after first page. Let's see, how did we connect this one? It's not connected to the staff, otherwise it would go down. So because it's not connected to the staff, it must be connected to the page margin. So let's select it. And the page margin distance is reset in Edit Textiles. And here it's always nice when you go to the Edit Textile window, you can already go directly to the text element by selecting it. Now, Edit. We're going to see again horizontal, horizontal position is centered, so in the center of the page, and vertical position, so high low, snap to the top of bottom of page, same story as with the title. In this case, from uh, zero millimeters from top margin, that's how I want it. So let's do OK and close, and. We select we moved it around just now, but when we go to layout, so wait, select and then layout, reset position, and there it goes again. So this is how it's done, and let's look at the last text element. This is a footer, and the footer is not attached to a staff, but attached to the 
page margin. So that means for the page margin, again, select first, then go to house style, edit text styles. And this is copyright. I assigned it to a copyright text style. So it's exactly the same story. Horizontal, we're going to send it on the page. Vertical, we're going to put to the bottom of the to the bottom page margin and five millimeters from the bottom from the bottom page margin. So that means this this is the five millimeter here. Let's see if it really works. Let's put it there and then we do a reset position and it snaps back. So just for the fun of it, let's change the distance. For example, to nine in the score, and there it jumps up. So this is how we set the footer back to five, and that goes again. So, so it's very important important to remember that we can set position for textile in two different ways. One is to the staff, connected to the staff. And one is connected to the page margin. And to remind you, the page margins, the um, text that you want to connect to the page margin, so this one, the header of the first page and the footer are set in textiles. We go like here and we set them here in the textiles. And one more time, we check the staff text mar margins. We put them. Um, in default positions composer, vertical position relative to staff in the score, above step, top of staff, and we hit OK. So that's how we place positions of the text objects, and automatically they will be included in a house style that you export here, name, and later import again. Don't, don't uh, mind the noise around me, it's just two little dogs playing like crazy here. And there you go. Hey, see you next time.